So my name is Jordan Cox. I failed out of college three times. In regards to my academia as a undergraduate student, I was not stellar. People thought I was in class when I actually wasn't. When I was wrestling with depression, I would just sleep in bed all day. I had moments in my life where I had people tell me I was worthless. And after a while, you start to believe that. In the kindest way, I was a poser. Like I was Mr. Popular and leader on campus at nighttime, like leading university activities board meetings and like planning these fun events and these everything like that. I made all four years at Millersville. I got put on academic probation a couple times. It wasn't until spring 2012 that I got you know brought into a hearing, was academically dismissed from the university. You pretend you have your life together, but then as soon as someone pulls that one thread, the whole thing just unravels. So I think that that was it for me. And it was that like wake up call. I just looked in the mirror one day and I'm like, I don't know who this person is. There was a bunch of different things that kind of unraveled the world that I was living in that finally pushed me to go get the help that I needed to go address the things in my life. I had a really great advisor. Her name was Kelly Duncan. Went to her office like crying. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And she sat me down and she was the first adult in my life to tell me that it's okay to take a break. She said like, I took a semester off. You, you paused your list. She's like, yeah, I wasn't doing well in school and I took the semester off. I went into retail. I gained some leadership skills and started to learn more about myself and, and how I learned as an adult. For me, I really had to discover who I was first, get the mental health help that I needed and then try it again. That's where I really saw my academic resilience of being mindful enough to say like, I don't know what I'm doing and I need to go get the academic resources, whatever I need to advance myself in the career path that I've discovered for myself now that I've found myself. I went back as an adult learner. It took me six and a half years to finish my undergrad. I think that's why I take away most of my academic journey is that I did not stop. And a lot of people who've seen me over the years finally get to my graduation and like, we've admired you for just how many times you've kept trying. I had a dear friend tell me one time, they're like, Jordan, you fail a lot. And I'm like, thank you, this is great advice. He's like, but you do it majestically. So my advice is when you fail, fail majestically. Take that failure and find success in it. Grieve it, be angry at it, wrestle with it, but you can make good out of it. Shoot, I was academically dismissed from three colleges and here I am, I have two degrees. To finally find success and find out who I was outside of what the world was telling me, that was my biggest step into freedom.